And Wall Street's main indexes saw some volatile trading for much of Tuesday, supported by gains in the financial sector stocks, but technology stocks have come under increased and continued pressure. That's particularly true with regard to Amazon stock, as President Trump has started a public war with Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, who is also the owner of the Washington Post, which President Trump has criticized over the paper's coverage of him and his administration. The president has tweeted and today spoke about how he believes Amazon is taking advantage of the U.S. Postal Service. Amazon is going to have to pay much more money to the post office. There's no doubt about that, said Mr. Trump. Here to talk about Amazon tech stocks and a few other things thrown in for good measure is the admirable and accomplished Melissa Armo, founder of the Stock Swoosh. Melissa, thank you again for being with us as always. So the president tweeted about Amazon for what seems like the hundredth time, saying, I've <laughs> stated that my concerns with Amazon long before the election, unlike others, they pay little or no taxes to state and local governments, use our postal system as a delivery boy, causing tremendous loss to the U.S., and are putting many thousands of retailers out of business. In reaction, you know, Amazon stock took a dive from the March highs, and while still up something like, I don't know, 15 or 16 percent this year, they started to tank, dipping under 1,400 today. What's your thought about this, uh, Melissa? Is this real? Is this a, a needed war with Amazon? What's going on? Well, good to see you, Bart. I don't know whether or not it's necessary or needed. However, it is real. The stock is falling. In fact, this is the worst that Amazon has ever looked to me, technically, looking at the chart. But the stock has had the most tremendous run-up of any stock I have ever, ever seen. Stocks usually do not go consistently straight up, and that really is what Amazon has done. And this is way before the election. So it's coming in. It's coming in. I think it has a long way to fall. And yes, when the president tweets about it, it has affected the stock. But people are up. People are, have been long Amazon, and they're taking profits, and I don't think it stops. Even though we kind of rallied a little bit into the close today, we did break. We gapped down a few days ago, and I think this stock could absolutely fall off a planet anytime soon. Uh, you know, it was uh, sort of strange, Melissa. When I was a, a regulator, I, I sort of had as a mantra, don't say anything to, to move markets uh, positively mm -hmm. or, or negatively. But this president doesn't seem to give two wits about that. He goes out and says something. And in fact, you know, there are many out there who contend he did this intentionally because of his sort of war of words with Jeff Bezos because of the Washington post when you look at the substance of what the president says and i listened to him today uh mm -hmm. he, he blamed amazon for everything from uh, killing the u.s postal service to uh killing main street usa retailers does he have a point at all is there something that the president's saying that really does make sense with regard to amazon taking advantage of things well as far as the retailers go i mean we live in a capitalistic society it's you know the people that do well and promote their businesses, make money. So I, I, he has a point, but I don't think we should necessarily protect or go against certain retailers. They found a niche. They capitalized on it. That's what the USA is all about. And yes, it has affected other countries, but this is business. They're getting a lot of business. As far as the post office goes, though, he does have a point to that because they have a deal. I don't know what the deal is. It's a closed deal. It's a private deal. Whatever deal they're getting, they're getting a good one. So it is cheaper for Amazon to use use the Postal Service because they're getting a good deal. In that sense, the president does have a point. Is he going to be able to do anything about it? I don't know. But the post office really has taken a beating lately. I have a lot of expenses, and not that many people use the U.S. mail anymore. I can't even tell you the last time I bought a stamp. Uh, I went to the post office today, and they were very friendly and very <laughs> nice. Uh, but it's been a while before that just happens to be today. You know, and, and I, I do, I mean, the post office had problems for years and and years and it would be yeah. nice to see that contract i'm wondering you know i mean i wonder if amazon could uh, go to fedex or ups or even dhl who's starting back I I in the, the u.s um you know melissa let's let's get on to some other stocks what about uh, tesla they've had a, a rough go of it in the last uh, week or so what's happening with them I don't like the way that stock looks. It's in a downtrend currently. It's unfortunate because the, the Elon Musk is very inventive, very creative. However, they haven't met some of the results in getting some of these cars out. 
And so the stock, again, has gapped down with everything else. It's been falling in the last few weeks, but the stock is now in a downtrend. Could they turn around? Sure, of course they could. But right now, Tesla is not a buy, and it's unfortunate. And it really hasn't been a buy for a little bit. For uh, Really, this whole year, 2018, that stock hasn't looked like a buy. Even when we started out the year and the rest of the market was doing good, Tesla wasn't doing that great. And so it looks worse than a lot of other things right now. Yeah, I guess that's what happens when you have somebody that dies in one of your autonomous vehicles and, that and uh, terrible. yeah terrible. just a horrible story and then yeah. you have all those 123,000 recalls of the the the, the yes. s model uh, now let me ask you about a couple others spotify went public today on the on the new york stock exchange uh they were trading as high as 165.90 and went down to to one 150. uh was this a pretty good opening for them I think it was really interesting because they quoted that the stock was going to open between 160 and 220, which I thought was a huge wide range. I mean, just a huge wide $60 range for what was going to open. It did end up opening around 165-ish, had a quick pop, and it's dropped ever since. And it actually broke 150. I don't know where it closed at at four, but it broke 150 today, and it's probably lower even still. This was one of these things. Again, it was a direct issue, so it was one of these things where it was probably going to drop today the first day anyways because people wanted to sell it it was a new interesting thing but i think the stock is lower will it flip around will it turn around sure eventually but it could be lower for the next few months i would not buy that stock right now even though spotify really could make it they're going to try to make it but i don't think it turns around immediately so you know techs were the darling last year they've been doing okay this year even with with the, the tweets do, do you think there's some correction coming in techs uh melissa I think it's very interesting because some of these stocks look different than other ones. For example, Netflix still looks great. Despite the sell-off of Netflix in the past few days, that is holding support nicely. Netflix is the one of the most strongest stocks out there, and I've said that on here before. And right now, that looks even better than Amazon, which looks a little bit beat up and I still think is lower. Netflix, I really like. I wouldn't buy it right now, but I like that. As far as the rest of the group, Facebook is in a downtrend right now, and that stock is going to have a really tough week next week. Mark Zuckerberg testifies before Congress on April 10th. Expect that stock to trade lower. I don't think that stock is going to turn around. You can just take Facebook out of the bucket because if you look at Amazon, you look at Apple, you look at Netflix, Facebook is going to look different. Google even looks better than Facebook right now. I think all of these stocks are in for, you can call it a correction if you want. I hate using that word, but you can say it if you want. They're all going to come in. But Facebook is a problem for the rest of 2018, even though all these other stocks could drop a little bit and pick themselves back up. I don't like what Facebook has to offer for the rest of 2018. I think they got that themselves into a pickle now. Uh, pickle's probably a kind word, and my <laughs> grandmother might have used that, Melissa. The always insightful and interesting Melissa Armo, the founder of The Stock Swoosh. Thank you for joining us, Melissa. Thanks for having me. And